Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to another game of Splinter Cell. God, I miss that game. I mean, I have it, I can play it, I just, I miss, I miss new entries in that series. Oh, my cousin's out fighting bobbies and stealing antiques, and what do I get? Guard duty. Relax, Mike. You got to earn it first. How long will that take? Ah, crap. Something moved. No, crap. Crap. Climb, 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 climb. You're fine. Climb. We're fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Huh? Woo. Um. Yeah, even in like the last two entries in the Splinter Cell series, they just weren't quite right, you know? They weren't Splinter Cell y. They had kind of deviated from their stealth gameplay sneaky sneakiness. Uh, okay, so you're going to do that, and then where actually am I trying to get to? Right there? Easy peasy. Lemme <laughs> squeezy. It's closed. Shoot. Okay. Well, that kind of Fs a whole bunch of things up. Uh, I will just follow him down this way, I guess. Then. Oh, crap. Hey. This shape matches part of the uniform of a Greek sentinel. I highly doubt that it's authentic. Still interesting, though, that they're all lying about. Okay, you're going to be an issue. Uh, the sound of a gong will attract the guards. I need to be careful. Okay. Do not push the gong. It's a good, it's a good rule to live your life by. Am I gonna choke this guy out? That would be so cool. Let's choke this guy out. Let's introduce violence. Uh, okay. Let's let's hit the gong and then climb. That way that guy's like, what the bloody hell was that? And walks all the way over. Oh, I get it. I thought they just put it there as like a... As I don't know what. Boys, check out that sound. There's someone there. <laughs> no. No, that is just the Chinese New Year. That's all that is. Hooray, it's the year of the monkey. Come on. Go through the door. Yeah. Look at us. Top of the world again. This is hey. the worst fight I've ever seen. What? Whoa. Whoa, Orson just committed murder. We need to get out of here. Uh, that's... It's less than ideal. Okay, so, um, I mean, I guess technically it was self-defense. 
So it's not the worst thing that he could have done. Uh, but the, I mean, the gang's definitely going to be after us now. Seems like a, you know, we've wronged the gang kind of situation. So that's great. Thanks, Orson. Lestrade, I'm glad you're here. What's happened, Mr. Holmes? We've come from the abandoned St. Patrick's Abbey. I uncovered a gang of armed bandits there who did their best to kill me. Again? I'll send our best team to arrest them. Well, I doubt that you'll find anyone left, but if you hurry up, you might just find the spoils left over from their burglaries. I see. And I'd be very grateful if you could keep an eye on Mr. Wilde here. But Holmes... No. No, no. No, screw you, pal. I've uh, got no deductions to make. Oh, yeah, probably do here. Uh, Percy Flemings was arrested and sent to prison for seven years after the Holmes investigation. Threatened to take Jeremiah's sister to the brothel. The debts. It's possible that Percy the Dart Fleming used Jeremiah for his dirty work because of the latter debts. Fleming no longer needs the money back. Because of the latter's debts, Fleming no longer needs the money back. Jeremiah owes a large sum of money to Percy as is the reason for the blackmail. I mean, Jeremiah's death. Orson and Jeremiah were both at the Abbey. And then he died. Orson intentionally killed Jeremiah when he saw Holmes at the Abbey. Orson feared for his life and killed Jeremiah in self-defense. I don't... Uh. Percy the Dart Fleming suffered financial problems after his arrest. Has a strong motive to kill Sherlock Holmes. He wants revenge due to his long prison spell and resulting financial problems. All right. We're going to keep digging. Uh, can I go talk to these guys now? Ooh. I'm going to interrogate Orson. Oh, here we go. Does he have belongings? No belongings. Just a stupid idiot. Is he in here? No, where is he? Is he in Lestrade's office? No. Have you seen my friend? How can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Well, I'm looking for Orson. I'm guessing maybe he was... Yeah, okay. Kick his ass. Why, please try to remember. Yeah, the slightest detail, etc. Well, apart from the smell of those bandits who kidnapped me, yeah, nothing special. And this Jeremiah was spending his time complaining about working for the fart. I think you mean the dart. Yeah, whatever. Jeremiah said that they should all wait till the fart was released. Uh, <laughs> makes no sense, right? Gross. Okay. Testimonial. Orson stated that Jeremiah had spoken of working for Percy, the Dodd Fleming. Orson's testimony that Jeremiah works for Percy the Dart Fleming sounds trustworthy. Orson is lying about the dart. He stated that Jeremiah was working for Percy and it lead us the wrong path. I don't think so. I think he's... And that's it. Okay. So now's the moment that I hate. I don't think it was murder. Um, yeah, I think Orson's... I think Orson's stupid. Uh, but I don't think he's guilty in any way. Uh, Orson's testimony sounds trustworthy. It's possible. It is possible. It is possible that Percy the Dart Fleming used Jeremiah for his dirty work because of the latter's debt. Fleming no longer needs the money back. Jeremiah visited Jack the Hammer Cole to discuss the attempted murder. Jeremiah visited Jack the Hammer Cole only to bring a bag containing stolen items, probably to sell.
Percy the Dart Fleming is guilty of the attempt on Holmes' life. He wanted revenge after seven years in prison and his resulting financial problems. Jeremiah is his accomplice. Uh, okay. So we know that Jeremiah and Cole have dealings. But it could just be the stolen silverware. Either way, we know that Jeremiah was guilty. But who, who hired him? He owed a debt. Uh, Percy Fem Fleming forced Jeremiah to do his dirty work and threatened to send Jeremiah's sister to the brothel if he disobeyed. Percy the Dart Fleming deserves heavy pr prison sentence. Um, so let's take a look at that note again. Uh, do, 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 do. Hey, Jeremiah, I would just like to remind you that the world can be cruel and unforgiving place, especially for those who don't keep their promises to finish what they started. It would be pretty rotten if someone you loved or cared about, such as your sister, ended up in a joy house. Which could have been sent after, after the failed assassination attempt. What evidence do we have? All right. The man was around five. Okay, we know that that's Jeremiah. There's a Green Dragon Tavern located in London near the harbor in Whitechapel District. A historical song. Yep. Jeremiah, we know it's his knife. I don't know why this is confusing stuff that we don't actually need here. The man with the hair lip came to me. Yep. Photograph of the man with the hair lip. The man with the hair lip brought Jack Cole a bank containing valuable loot. It's held in a secret room. I mean, so there's... There's an, kind of an explanation for why he would be there. It was a police raid. Pawned his belongings at the Butler's Pawn Shop located in Lambeth Street. So, he's down on his luck. The innocent man, an innocent man, Hagen Cole, who was apprehended by Jack Cole's, uh, who was apparently Jack Cole's brother, was severely injured during a police raid organized by Sherlock Holmes in 1892. The dart threatened to take Jeremiah's sister. Jack Cole blamed Sherlock for his brother's accident during the police raid. Percy Fleming stated that Jeremiah often begged for odd jobs in order to earn money. Percy stated that supplied girls to his brothel. Encrypted records among Fleming's belongings. Perhaps my archive could help me decipher them. Jeremiah is in debt. Orson Wilde was at the Abbey with Jeremiah and the other bandits. Okay. I mean... The brother situation, Jack Cole and his brother is a more emotional motive. However, the stolen items has a strong motive to kill Sherlock Holmes. He wants revenge for his brother who was severely injured during the police organization. Has a strong motive to kill Sherlock Holmes. He wants revenge due to his long prison spell and resulting financial problems. I don't think
that Check out Scotland Yard. Well-known private detective Sherlock Holmes, in collaboration with Scotland Yard, has carried out a raid on one of the most dangerous and affluent street mobs. Regrettably, as usual, police attempted to fail operations smoothly. During the raid, one innocent person was gravely injured. The man's identity was revealed to Hagen Cole, apparently being... Uno momento. Man, I hate the internet sometimes. Okay, uh... So, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's Orson. I think... What's the reason for my arrest? This is an outrage. Is this going to take long? I think that Jack the Cole, or Jack Cole, the hammer, has... The 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 silverware is. It makes sense that it makes sense that Jeremiah could be could have visited Jack Cole for reasons other than the Sherlock thing, because we know we know that he was bringing stolen goods. However, I still feel like he has a stronger motive than the dark. Although seven years of your own life. <sighs> We're going to go with this just because of that stupid case of silverware. Although... Ah... <sighs> Okay, we're going to do it. We might end up undoing it, depending on how, <laughs> how this goes. Uh, we're cheaters. We are cheaters, but I don't care. Percy Fleming, you are charged with conspiracy to murder. What? You used Jeremiah Thorne in your little game because you didn't want your hands dirty. You're lying. Jeremiah spoke to me before he died of how you ordered him to throw the bomb and, after its failure, to abduct me. No, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. I think that it's perfectly clear. Attacking Mr. Sherlock Holmes is one of the quickest ways to be hanged. No, you can't do that. I'm an innocent man. Constable, take him back to the cells. Ah, okay, we're going to replay the ending because uh, that didn't seem... That didn't seem right. Uh, at least the other time that I replayed the ending in this game... Uh, it ended up being the thing that I initially thought it was. And then I second-guessed myself. And I second-guessed myself. And to be fair, actually, Jack Cole was, up until this whole stupid dart thing happened, uh, Jack Cole did seem like... That seemed like the guy, didn't it? Okay. Stolen items. Well, it's just, it's just, you know, to discuss the next stage of the plan for the murder. And... Orson is lying. No, I, I, I don't see why. Um, Jeremiah owes a large sum of money, and that is the reason for the blackmail. I do, I do believe that. Um... Wait, so... In order for it to be Jack Cole, Orson is lying about the dart. He stated that Jeremiah was working for Percy the Jarred Fleming to lead us. So, in order for it to be Jack Cole, Orson has to be lying to us? Let's check this out, but I I don't... Something about that's not right. Mr. Cole, I find you guilty of the attempt made on my life. What? I didn't have anything to do with it. It's all clear to me. You wish to avenge your brother who was left crippled by a stray bullet. That's just your sick imagination. 
Jack Cole, you are a menace to society, and I have no doubt that you'll get an appropriate sentence. You Scotland Yard dogs! Constable, take him back to the cells. Well, that didn't feel right either. Is it possible that it's Orson? No. 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 He did stab him. But what? So what? What is? What is? Orson has no motive. He has zero motive. That that we've discovered. So I, I don't understand why that would be. Uh, okay, so let's let's just play along here. Orson intentionally killed him. And he deliberately destroyed the analysis table. And he sent us there so that we could get caught. None of which makes sense, by the way. Um, and he was just there to sell some goods. Orson concealed all traces of crime. I don't get it. Orson Wilde is obsessed with the idea of being Sherlock Holmes. He hired Jeremiah to kill Holmes with the intention of taking over his persona. When the plan failed, Orson Wilde killed Jeremiah as an unnecessary witness. No. No. Let's, uh, I just want to see how this plays out, but I this can't be it. Mr. Holmes, I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to experience all of these superb sights and smells of criminal life. But I think I've had enough now. What was the reason for Jeremiah Thorne's death? Are you joking? Put your deductive skills to work. Self-defense, my dear Watson. That's quite enough, Wilde. I know that you were guilty of the attempt made on my life and of the murder of Jeremiah Thorne. Holmes! You're my best friend. Why are you doing this? Oh, stop all this. The case is solved. You came to my house for the sole purpose of taking my life. In addition, you hired Jeremiah to do your dirty work. And when you realized his failure, you murdered him to conceal any traces of the crime. There's no chance of you avoiding the gallows. Gallows? <laughs> Absolutely not. That would mess up my hair. Uh, honestly, he denies it at first, but then, huh, that seems like actually the most likely, <laughs> like the most likely ending, uh, but now I'm wondering if he should actually go to prison. No, he should. I wouldn't have sent him to prison for me, for for trying to kill me. Uh, but then he did stab Jeremiah in cold blood. Either way, oh my gosh, uh, that can't be right. I think we just goofed that up. Nothing, none of that, none of that made any sense, any sense whatsoever. Damn it. Damn it the hell, man. Oh well. <laughs> uh, could, was it Orson? I mean, he did seem to mess things up at every turn. He just doesn't seem like the criminal mastermind type. And I mean, we've just arrested a famous actor like is that Holmes, you simply have to face up to it you need to have a serious discussion with kate about her origins i oh, can't no crap. more excuses she will learn soon enough that alice is leaving this other hidden secret she will not forgive you she does not need to know why no so she will blame you for alice's departure is that what you want no i, I certainly it's as kate said i I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Baker Street. 
Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. Hot dang. We'd better hurry. There may be injured who need help. Good golly. His pupils are constricted, but they are moving. He is still alive. He has stopped breathing. There's no heartbeat. I must act quickly to save him. Uh, jeez. Okay. We are going to Guitar Hero you back to life. Ah, sorry. Isn't it like nowadays, isn't it like 30 compressions or something? So Watson's first mistake is that he didn't send someone to go get the AED. Got a, oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank goodness. This man will live. Really? He, nothing's changed. He's just lying there still. Normally they like... Don't stand there. Holy Do crap. Don't worry. I'm okay. All right. Please move to a safer area, sir. Over here! And now he's got a broken arm because of us. I would so. have died if not for you. Please help me. My leg. I'm certain that Watson is far more capable of handling this situation. Over here. Light bleeding. Bleeding will stop naturally. Okay. Uh, legs trapped. Legs underneath. Horse body. Oh, it's a dead horse. Uh, scaffolding. Scaffolding is pressing on the horse. We could cut his leg off. Or, oh, or the scaffolds. Sure. Ah. Uh, it's gonna take forever. I don't know how we did that so fast. It's kind of amazing. Okay. Thanks for your help. Oh, my shoulder. Ah, oh, you're fine. I'd better call for Watson. Oh, hang on. Please, help. Oh, hang on. Oh, crap. Watson, there's a man with an injured leg just over there. Could you help him, please? Watson, there's a man with an injured leg just over there. Could you help him, please? Oh, my shoulder. I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? Ouch. Oh, God. Oh, I don't feel qualified to do this. Oh, no. So sorry. Like that? No. I don't know how it's supposed to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, crap. Ouch. Well, I never said I was a good doctor. Oh, this is awful. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I. This is. Oh, this is awful. I'm trying. Well. There we go. First try. Thank you for your help. Unconscious requires evacuation. Missing door handle cannot open. There is an axe. And something else. And oh, oh, 
and door hinges. Could be broken. Oh, we let someone die. He dead. No visible wounds, not injured. He's pinned though. Trapped leg. Cab has a, uh, it's heavy. There's a pry bar. Uh, where's the guy with the leg? This guy. I need help. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You're the guy with the leg? Please help me. My leg. My name is Dr. Watson. Let me examine you. Yeah, over here. Uh, check point of injury, check bone integrity. No bones appear to be broken. Okay. And... No. No. Ah, it hurts. There's some extreme bruising. I think that an improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. Oh, crap. Now, let me apply the bandage. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so, we're going to put the board, and we're going to rope you up. I need some no, hang on. Ah, uh, no, other board. Didn't realize this was a part of it, too. Thank Please. you, Doctor. Help. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, I never finished helping you? Thank you, Doctor. Oh, thank you for saving me. Uh, examine him. There are no wounds or in. Try to wake him. Wake up, sir! I'd, be I'd better get Watson. Watson? Uh, where? Where? Okay, over here. And, oh, the guy in the building died. That sucks. That sounded very callous. I see no visible injuries. Perhaps I could use ammonia. Oh, my head. Can't believe we let someone die. Damn it. Damn, man. I didn't get the hang of the fact that we were supposed to switch back and forth right away. Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster. Doubtful. Let me go. You're talking nonsense. Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes, this gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How were you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? Oh. It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, I. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, constable? Perhaps it was... Poorly constructed. Oh, right, yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. 
This accident is a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. Uh. Must include all the participants in the accident sequence. Okay, sure. Here we go. Recreate the thing. What am I? What am I? What am I? Uh, okay. I'm just clicking around on a lot of nothing. I'm not doing so great. There's water. Elements found. I. Oh, the map of the I, I see. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please do all three. And um, and uh, you know, I feel so bad about this guy. Dead guy in here. We could have helped him. Had I known. I spent so much time running around like a ninny. Ah, and until next time.